Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your autograph hound, and it is that time of year again. We have now finally solid confirmation of what autograph signed books Barnes & Noble will be selling for Black Friday. For those of you who are not aware, if you are an autograph collector, Barnes & Noble on Black Friday has become your best friend. Every year, they have a bunch of signed books from a variety of different authors, actors, political activists, uh, figures, whatever you have it and they sell them. It's retail price, although if you are a Barnes & Noble member, which is like $25 a year, totally worth doing, you get 10% off your entire purchase. Now, some of these books, um, they have tons of, some they have just a couple of. Here's one of the good things, they actually are not open on Thanksgiving. So you can go to Best Buy, Target, and all those stores on Thursday, even though I frankly don't recommend you do that. I think that supports a bad cause. And then Friday morning at 8 a.m., you can go to Barnes & Noble and pick up your signed book. So I'm going to, we're going to look over what they're going to be offering this year, which ones I'm very excited about picking up, and, you know, maybe you can discuss which ones you're looking forward to. So here's the 2019 editions that we are going to be talking about. Now, the first one we have, Joe Abercrombie for A Little Hatred, Renee Adia for The Beautiful, Mitch Album for Finding Chica, uh, Atticus for The Truth About Magic Poems, Brett Bayer, Three Days at the Brink, uh, David Baldacci, A Minute to Midnight. We have Andrea Barber for Full Circle, Leia Bardugo, King of Scars, Joy Barr, Yummy Yoga. I think my mom would like that one. I will probably be picking that up for her. She loves the view. We have uh, Andrea Beauty for Out of Twist. We have Gabriel Bernstein for Super Attractor. I think I've heard of her, but I, I'm not sure. We have Mark Bittman for How to Cook Everything. We have Holly Black for The Queen of Nothing. We have David W. Blight for Fred Frederick Douglass. Max Brawlier. Now, I actually got a signed book by him last year. It was a co-signed book with um, James Patterson. So I probably won't pick up that one, but it's nice to know he's signing more books. Jan Brett for The Snowy Map. Sheen Brock for South. Tom Brookoff for The Fall of Richard Nixon. We have Karamo Brown for I Am Perfectly Designed. Bill Bryson for The Body. Um, Augustine Burroughs. For Toil and Trouble, Jenna Bush Hager and Barbara Pierce Bush. Um, I think those are George W. Bush's daughters, if I'm not mistaken. We have Grace Byers for I'm Enough. And here's something I'm excited about, John Cena. Uh, I wanted a John Cena signed book last year. I, um, I ultimately passed on it because it fell just outside the budget. It's always good, by the way, to have a budget when you do any of these Black Friday things and stick with it so that you don't end up going into debt. That's what I did, and John Cena was one of two books that got cut, and when I went back, had money and went back like a week later, it was gone. Interestingly, a couple of books that I decided not to pass on were still there. That's one of the problems with this. Sometimes you're not sure which books are going to stick and which ones are not going to be around, um, but I will definitely pick it up this time. Uh, that I anticipate that one to be like a, uh, a popular one because he's in that movie Playing With Fire, and uh, he was in Bumblebee last year. So we have Stephen... Chabuski for Imaginary Friend. Uh, I definitely want that one. He uh, wrote that book, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, so I would definitely like a signed book from him. We have Tracy um, Chevalier for A Single Thread. We have Lee Child, Blue Moon. We have the Cimarelli Sisters, Believe in You. Uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton and Chelsea Clinton. Now, what's interesting is last year, Chelsea Clinton signed a book for Barnes & Noble. I didn't pick it up. I was this close. This close. That was one of like, okay, I was actually now thinking about it. It was three books I had to cut from the budget. Uh, I will definitely be picking up that one. Now, I suspect that one will go fast because it's Hillary Clinton. So, um, yeah, uh, that's one that if you are budgeting for this, I would probably not cut that one out. That one will probably go. You might not have another chance. And to have them both sign it, that's pretty cool. Uh, Ta Nahishi Coates for The Water Dancer. I probably mispronounced that name. We have Chris Ka Colfer for The Tale of Magic. We have Michael Connolly. Oh, wow, Michael Connolly for The Night Fire. We have Sean Korn, Revolution of the Soul. Uh, we have Clive Cussler, Final Option. Kimberly and James Dean um, for Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party. We have Nelson and Alex DeMille. We have Jared Diamond, Upheaval. We have Cameron Douglas, Long Way Home. We have Reed Drummond, The Pioneer Woman Cooks. We have Janet Evan Evanich, um, Twisted and 26. She's good. We have Flea. for Acid for the Children. We have Janae Ga Gaffigan from When Life Gives You Pears. Um, I'm guessing she's related to Jim Gaff Gaffigan. 
Uh, we have Neil Gaiman from Neverwhere, for Neverwhere. Uh, Stephanie Garber for Final or Finale. Uh, Stuart Gibbs for Charlie Thorne and The Last Equation. Malcolm Gladwell, Talking to Strangers. Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, I definitely want a Whoopi Goldberg sign book. I love collecting Oscar winners. She's an Oscar winner, so I definitely want that one. Adam Grant for The Gift Inside the Box. Uh, Brian Grazier. I want Brian Grazier. An Academy Award winning producer. Like, A Beautiful Mind, most of Ron Howard's stuff. Uh, he wrote Face to Face, The Art of Human. We have Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power and Mystery. We have S.C. Gwen, Hymns of the Republic. We have Jenny Han, uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. We have Debbie Harry, Face It, Memoir. We have Hannah Hart, My Drunk Kitchen Holiday. A lot of cookbooks right now. Jen Hatmaker for Seven Days of Christmas. Ryan H. Higgins for Santa Bruce. Uh, Ellen Hildebrand, What Happens to Paradise. We have Joe Hill, Full Throttle. S.E. Hilton, The Outsider's 50th Anniversary. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely want that one. That's a classic book. We have Alice Hoffman, The World That We Knew. Then we have James How Howie. I, I think it's Howie. Um, uh, uh, Bonicula, 40th anniversary. Edition. I've never heard of that, but it's 40 years old, apparently. We have Gory, Jory John, or Gory John, The Good Egg. We have Craig Johnson for Land of Wolves. We have Dan Jones for Crusaders. We have Kimberly Jones and Gilly Siegel for I'm Not Dying With You Tonight. Uh, Caddy K for The Confidence Code for Girls. We have Brian Kilmeade for Sam Houston and the Alamo. We have Christopher Kimball for Milk Street. Laura Kohler for The Little Snowplow. We have Hoda Cod... I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I really needed this today. We have R.F. Kong for the, Republic, the Dragon Republic. We have Madison Kuhn for Almost Home, which is a poem book. We have John Le Curry, Agent Running in the Field. That's a good author. We have Rachel Maddow for Blowout. <laughs> Someone should get that for Tim Pool. He'll probably love that one. We have Sandra Magzaman for Lots of Little of Love Little Ones. We have Catherine McGee for American Royals. We have Rhett McLalligan and Link Neal. Uh, Karen M. McManus, um, she signed one of us again this year for Barnes & Noble. This was offered last year. It's actually one of the ones that I ended up getting at... Um, <laughs> at my book um, White Elephant Party that I do every year. So, um, yeah, interesting that she's doing that. That must be a good seller for her. Uh, we have William H. McRaven for Sea Stories. We have Med Medina for Mercy Soirs. We have Shannon Messenger for Legacy. We have Marissa Meyer for Supernova. We have Joni Mitchell for Morning Glory on the Vine. Definitely want Joni Mitchell. She's an excellent artist. And Demi Moore, Inside Out. Want Demi Moore. I, I love her. I love her work. Um... I love ghosts. <laughs> uh, we have Fraser Moore, Inside Family Guy, Nails Great History. Now, I don't know who Fraser Moore is, but if that's a Family Guy book, we'll definitely be picking it up. We have Issa Chandra uh, Moskowitz, I Can Cook Vegan. We have Jojo Moyes, The Giver of Stars. Uh, Laura Numeroff, If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. Now, I already have a Laura Numeroff signed book, but that one might be a fun one to have. I don't know. We'll see if the budget allows. Now we have what is probably going to be the crown jewel out of all of them. Michelle Obama becoming deluxe signed edition. Now, usually when there's like a crown jewel signature, this is the one that most stores get one to three copies of, and they usually go fast. Uh, last year, I believe it was Reese Witherspoon. This year, it's probably Michelle Obama. I know one year it was um, George W. Bush. Now, here's the only reason this might not fly off the shelf right away, because this is not a standard edition of the book. This is, um, in fact, let's uh, let's see if we can, um, can we open that? No, we can't. Well, anyway, um, what this is, because I've actually seen it, um, this is a copy of the book with a special box that has like some 8x10 photos and some special swag in it. So this edition of the book will cost $150. Probably worth it considering how rare her signature is. Um, first ladies rarely sign a lot of autographs. Um, you can't write a president and the first lady a letter and hope for a signature. They've got way more important things to sign. Plus, I think it's a breach of security if they are signing things that are not on official documents while they are, you know, in official capacity as president and first lady. So this is like an extremely rare opportunity to get a Michelle Obama autograph. But it will also cost four times as much as the average book on this list, and you are going to have to weigh whether or not that is worth it to you. Now, some people, that might be an easy choice. But for some people who really like her, that still might be difficult because you might, if you budget, like I say, have to give up some of these book options 
to get it. But I believe this is going to be the crown jewel. Okay, we have Tim O'Brien for Dad's Maybe book. We have Jane O'Connor, uh, Jane O'Connor for Fancy Nancy. Delia Owens, Where the Crawdads Sing. That's another deluxe edition. We have R.J. Palacio. He's back. This is like I think the third year in a row he signed books for Barnes and Noble. And this guy is every single year Christopher Paolini for Aragon. I actually um, years ago when he wasn't going so sign crazy, I remember buying like a bunch of signed books from Borders. And I remember selling them. I made like at least $25 profit each book. I don't feel comfortable doing that anymore because he signs a lot of books now. So, you know. We have Ann Patchett for The Dutch House. We have Susan and James Patterson. Oh, Patterson. James Patterson is back again. Uh, we have Gary Paulson for Hatchet. We have Coyote Peterson for Epic Encounters. We have Liz Fair for Horror Stories. We have Sasha Pieters for Sasha in Good Taste. We have popular amos for popular mmos present oh popular mmos that's what they're called um they must be youtubers or something i don't know uh we have antoni Porowski um cooking book we have sarah and teg and quinn high school we have rachel ray hey that's a cookbook i might get if she signed it because i've actually heard of rachel ray we have jason reynolds look both ways we have Jerry Rice, America's Game, the NFL 100. Huh, maybe I'm a really would like that. I don't, I don't know. That might be an interesting thing. We have Sherry Dusky Pinker for Three Cheers for Kid McGear. We have Rick Reardon for The Tyrant's Tomb. That's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. We have K.Y. Robinson for Submerge. Mo Roca for Obituaries. Um, that might be an interesting book to read. Um because I think that's a guy who writes obituaries for a living. That might be fascinating to read. We have Eve Rodsky for Fair Play. We have Allison Roman for Nothing Fancy. Mike Rowe, The Way I Heard It. Rainbow Rowell for Wayward Son. We have R.A. Salvatore for Boundless. We have Brandon Sanderson for Stare Light. We have John Sanford for Bloody Genius. Stacy Schroeder for Next Level Basic. We have Barton Seaver for The Joy of Seafood. Ruda Septis for The Fountain of Silence. We have Shia Shirano for Movies and Other Things. We have Hannah Shaw for Kitten Lady's Big Book of Little Kittens. Katie will want that one, I can guarantee you that. We have Neil Shusterman for The Toll. Uh, Jesse Sima for Not Quite Narwell. Carly Simon, yes, Oscar winner. Definitely want it. Touched by the Sun. We have Simon Sinek for The Infinite Game. Uh, Sonia Sotomayor, she's back. She's signing another book. Um, I got one of her signed books last year, so I will pass on this one. But if you missed that chance, you have the opportunity now. We have Gunnar Stahl for Gunnar Stahl Portraits. I have so much to tell. We have Paul Stanley for Backstage Pass. We have Maggie Steifader. We have R.L. Stein here. R.L. Stein. I will definitely pick up an R.L. Stein book as long as it's not sold out by then. And then we have Nick Stone for Jackpot. Matt... Tavares for Dasher. We have Twyla Tharp, Keep It Moving, Lessons for the Rest of Your Life. We have Angie Thomas signing the Hate You Give Collector's Edition again. She is one of the books that I unfortunately, because of the budgeting reasons, those were she was like the third book I had to put back last year. I'm happy to have a second chance to get a signed book by Angie Thomas. We have Hervé Toulet, I have an idea. An idea. We have Matthew Paul Turner. And here's what's interesting. Chris Van Alsberg is signing the Polar Express again. Now, uh, and this is the 30th anniversary edition. Now, Chris Van Alsberg, he's been signing books for Barnes & Noble this event for like years. It's usually the Polar Express. However, he's also signing a 30th anniversary edition of Jumanji, which is probably going to be fairly popular because there's a movie coming out. The third movie in the first, well, technically it's the fourth movie. Like, we all forget the Thura exists, and yet the Thura was a very good movie. So anyway, Chris Van... Van Alsberg is signing two books for Barnes & Noble this year. Then we have Jonathan Van Ness over the top. We have Susan Verrete, I Am Human. We have Jean Georges Von Gerstein, uh, JVG. We have Cleo Wade, Where to Begin. Linda West, The Witches Are Coming. We have Tara Westover for Educated. Kirsten White for Slayer. We have Mo Williams for The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Interesting title. We have Mary Wilson. Now, she's one of the uh, Supremes from Diana Ross and Supreme, so I would probably want that one. We have Hen Henry Winkler and Lynn Oliver. Henry Winkler, yeah. Henry Winkler, totally want that one. We have Ollie Wong for Dear Girls. We have Jacqueline Woodson for Read the Bone. We have Kobe Yamada 
What do you do with a problem? We have David Yoon, Frankly in Love, and Barry Zitto. Curveballs. And finally, Marcus Zusak. Now, <laughs> what's interesting about that one is he's one of the signed books I got last year, and yet the Barnes Noble near my house has had signed books from him for, like, to this day. Like, they had, like, a lot of them, and they just never sold. So I, part of me, cynically, I know it's not fair to say this, but I wonder if cynically... A lot of sources had that one left over, so they just redistribute redistrib them. And hey, we've got another author who signed books. I, I don't know. They rarely date these things. So, um, what I think of this year's list, um, it's probably not as strong as last year. I can only think of like maybe a dozen of these that I want, where like in previous years I wanted like a few dozen. But hey, that's probably fine. That means, um, because I budget a few hundred dollars every year for the signed books. And this means I might actually come under budget for them. So, that's a good thing. Um, the biggest ones that I'm going to be aiming for, uh, let's see here. I'll probably get Joey Barr for my mom because, you know, my mom loves loves the, the view. Uh, uh, books that I probably want personally, I do want John Cena this time. I want Stephen Chabosky. Uh, I, 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 pro I might be okay with getting a lead child. I, I do want Hillary and Chelsea, and Chelsea Clinton uh, that, I, and Michael Connelly. Uh, let's see here. I... Um, I'm going to have to look up who Flea is. I, I'm kind of curious on who that person is. I might... I have a Neil Gaiman book already, so... Um, I do want Whoopi Goldberg. I want Brian Grazier. Um, I... Uh, let's see here. I do want S.E. Hinton. And... Um, what else do I have, have here um, that I would like? Uh, maybe Rachel, Rachel Maddow. She would fall out just outside the budget if I went to too far. I want Demi Moore. I do want Joni Mitchell. I will, I want Frazier Moore because of the family guy. I definitely do want the Michelle Obama. We're just going to have to see because that's the one that could mess up my budget, so to speak, for this. So we'll have to see how much I want it. Um, let's see here. I got most of them that I want. Uh, let's see here. Maybe Rachel Ray. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want Mo Roca a signed book, but that does sound like a good book to read. Um, I would, uh, I definitely want Carly Simon, she, and I want R.L. Stein. I I do want Angie Thomas. I'd, I'd be, I'd like a signed Jumanji book, but since I already have Chris Van Allsburg, it won't be like the biggest deal to me if that doesn't happen. Mary Wilson would probably be nice, and so would Henry Wrinkler. And so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to be aiming for on Black Friday. Um, I, of course, I've been, because I get there really early, I've always been very fortunate to always get the books that I want, provided I have the money for them. Uh, this year, I, I don't think that's going to be an issue at all, but, you know, we're, we're just going to have to see what happens. So, anyway, that's the off-signed books that are going to be there for Black Friday in 2019. What do you think? Do you like these choices? Do you dislike them? Um, disappointed? More than happy? Which ones do you plan to get? I would love to know. So, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.